up y'all and welcome back to another episode of Poor Choices. If you're looking for some dope ass wines to try from a regular girl's palate, then you've come to the right place. Please be sure to like and subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, you know, all that good stuff and stay tuned. Braxton! I miss y'all so much. Welcome back to another installment of Poor Choices, the regular girl's guide to dope ass wines. I'm B, and it's your girl Mel. So this episode, we are exploring local wineries. We have three different locations. One um, is from Linganore Winery. Another one we have over here is from Olney Winery, and both of those can be found in Maryland. And then we have one more. Um, it's a blueberry wine, and that one is from a winery in Virginia. Should I do that part? Should you do that part? <laughs> Can I break that down? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Not it. So, that wine can be found in Virginia. So I think without any further ado, I've been very excited to try the blueberry wine. Mitch just told me about the blueberry wine before, and I was like, my babe, I love the blueberry. So let's get into it. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope you're excited because, man, I miss y'all. Oh. So if you're not familiar, we live in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, and that's the area, the variety of wines that we're going to be trying out today. So stay tuned. Buckle your seatbelts. Hit that subscribe button so you know when we hear. Like. So you can be here when we hear. Tap the bell. Comment. Tell a friend. All of that. Follow us on Instagram. Don't like us on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, thank you. And without any further ado, let's do it. Let's get it. So, the first wine that we're trying today is the blueberry wine from Horton, Horton Vineyards. And this. I can't. I genuinely cannot wait. So I'm going to pour the glasses and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. Is you right? I'm ready. Well, that's a really pretty color. Isn't it? Mm. Right? Ooh. I like that. I'm glad. I like that. I like <clears throat> that. So the Horton Vineyards are located in Gordonsville, Virginia. That's about an hour and five minutes outside of Richmond. Um, it seems, according to the website, they're a family-owned company, uh, family-owned winery. And, oh, before, you see me picking up my fork before I told y'all. Ready. Uh, I'm sorry. I was thinking that. I was I'm like, sorry. dang, she didn't even tell the folks. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, Go ahead. I heard, I heard, the cheesecake pairs wonderfully with blueberry wine with the other types of wine that we have to try today and that's why cheesecake's in front of us so i'm really excited about this combination this, pairing. this the like the creamy cheesiness mixed with the so there's a lot of flavor um a lot of the blueberry flavor that is coming through in the wine and you know this is my favorite part Do thing girl we're looking at 12 and a half percent alcohol mm. volume which is a win that is Wow, that's really good, guys. Do we clean? We can. We can do it again. It made me go. I really like this. I really like this. But it's not. Like, it's not super. It's not giving me a pothic. Like it's not. Nice. No, and it's it's still sweet, but it's not overbearing. Yes, it's not like syrupy. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. The after. Yeah. Chew your cheesecake all the way. And then have a sip of wine. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste that lingers is, ooh. It is, it really is almost like having blueberry tart yeah. on top. It's levels to this. Mm. I'm so here for this combination. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
cheers, cheers, and more cheers. I just want to keep eating. I was thinking that too, but I'm like, you can't be the one that eats all your cheesecake. I'm here you guys for make it. me want to go. Right? Get the E40. Mm. <laughs> Are we playing now? It says go. Oh. Um. Woo! -ha! <laughs> what the fuck? It's a group level. Do I lose anything? Yes! <laughs> Took it down. <laughs> um. Did you ever see? It's kind of like Orange is the New Black. But it's also on Netflix. Um, it's like a women's prison. What? what? Yes! <laughs> Don't ask me why I know that. And skip. Throw it back. Okay, it comes on every Sunday night. You meet people. I mean, you get engaged to people that you don't know. Married after No, Sunday. no, the other um, one. It's a number of days. Day yes. Um, it's the fat people. The show. A hundred pound. Mm -hmm. um, my six hundred pound life. Yes. <laughs> I don't know that. Um, Tracy Ellis Ross is the oh it's on Zara. So the second wine we have for you all today is from Linganore Winery. This winery can be found in Maryland. Mm -hmm. Um they have a lot of summer festivals. Um my favorite one is the, the Caribbean. Yeah. The Caribbean one. My mom was telling me about their wine fest. Sniggity. This is actually my favorite. So Aww, Sniggity. I haven't tried any I discovered of this one at one of their festivals. Really? Yes. Thank you kindly. No problem. Um, I told you. Yeah, I had a great time at the wine festival when I discovered this. And what's the what's the percentage by volume on this bad boy? So this one only has ten point two percent, but mm. it it still meets our goal. So ten percent alcohol volume is the wow. wine. That is so refreshing. I what is that? Honeysuckle and you get peach. Sweet. Yeah, I just it even has that. like a little bit of a a peach kind of color to it. I love it. It's a little fizzy, like very subtle, but not too many bubbles. Cause you know I'm not I'm not, not here for a, all the bubbles. Yes, yes, but I love this girl. Uh, I just want to climb in that bottle. It's so bomb. It's so bomb. I love it. All right, Lincoln, are you won so far? You guys won. Mm. So far, you like this one better it's, than the blue. More left, but so far, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just more impartial to whites. Like maybe okay, not a this good is... <laughs> But this is a five. This is a five. What do you think about this wine? It's not bad. I really like this wine. It reminds me of Moscato, but not. It's Moscato's finer, older cousin. It's a nice change to me. So if your comfort zone has been Moscato all this time, this and is a nice switch over, yes, nice transition, and you're ready to branch out to try something new, that would be a nice transition for your first into your exploration. All right, Blubberty. They better not use my song. All right, which category? Which one? Which one? Two movies. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Fucking Samuel L. Jackson. I want to say Bow Wow Basketball, New Orleans. It was an uplifting movie. Okay, well, I didn't watch Bow Wow. Okay, scroll up. Will Smith, Robots, I think. I, Robot. No. No. Oh. Another Will Smith movie. It's. Hang up. No. Um. Um. What's another word? Nope. <laughs> oh. Wow, wow. <laughs> Skating. Uh, Roll bounce. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. 
civil civil rights, Martin Luther King, Alabama. Selma. Two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, um, Eddie Murphy, he was a prince. Coming to America. Yes. Oh, but the time is up. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I tried, y'all, but I didn't know none of them. Uh, <laughs> none of them. Who were they? Coach Carter. Oh, the bad guy. Okay, that was, was a bow wow. I thought it was bow wow. <laughs> you know I love bow wow. <laughs> Coach Carter is not Bow Wow. It was, I knew it was Samuel Jackson. Um, Braveheart. What the fuck is that? I don't know. What that is. Hoodlum. Uh, you know. Hurricane season. I don't know. King of New York. I don't know. Beach Street. No, I don't know. Like who would have got that? <laughs> no. Play again. No. Come on, your turn. Not this category. Judge Maybelline. Divorce court. Yes. <laughs> um, it's <laughs> I didn't watch this show and I'm so ashamed to say I didn't watch it because okay, I know another one did. Um, like when things something snaps in half, you break it apart. Okay. Break it back? Yes. I don't watch it either. Okay, good. Um we are not ladies, but we're uh uh girl, golden girl grown up ladies. Yes. Working women? No. Clank, clank. Lockdown. Women behind bars? Close, no. Um, um, or just a new black? No. I don't know. Okay, pass. Zombies. Walking Dead. Yeah. Reno. Reno 911? Yeah. I fucking love that show. <laughs> Time's up. Oh, I love Reno 911. It's such a good show. <laughs> I don't really think anything else. I thought it was really good. I thought it was very fruity, very light. Um, it gave me summertime. It gave me like summer in, the in park. a bottle. Yeah, it gave me sit in, sit in the park, sit on a blanket with some nice cheeses and a strawberry or two, with a good pal. Yes. You know? Yeah. You yes. that? Strawberry and cheese. Yeah. Right. I'm so here for that. You know? Or those cotton candy grapes. So our third and final wine for the evening. Dun, 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 dun. It's from Only Winery that is also in Maryland. Mm -hmm. hey, okay. Only means business. With 14%, there is nothing but business to be had. Lord. I'm so here for this. Ooh. So the flavor is Black Cherry Blast. Again, it is 14% alcohol volume. Now, normally, I'm not really a fan of cherry things. Me neither. It always gives me medicine, and I'm just not here for it. So I'm excited to try. I always love when things prove me wrong. So I hope. I hope. At 14, percent you can't really. It is a red wine. Shout out to the Reds. The Reds. The Reds. That's what I meant. <laughs> and I'm I'm ready. Thank you. Mmm. It smells, it smells great. It smells great. You like it? Now, I will be a little honest. It does give me therapy a little. Like, it does give me it therapy gives me, cherry um, medicine a little bit. Taylor Port. Tell me it doesn't taste a little Taylor Portish. It has the syrupiness of Port. I right? Get that. Yeah, right? Like, I mean, still dessert wine. I get the. So maybe. Along with it, we have some dessert. Does it make it better? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's good. A lot better. Yep. That's it. Oh, that's it. Dessert wine. This, this is some take take your panties off wine. Right. This is no joke. Imagine drinking this after, like, you out on a town, you had a date. That's this is not like have wine. This is some 12 play wine. 
I really enjoy this. This combination together. I feel like this wine should come with a free piece of cheesecake and every shout time. shout out to you for including the plain cheesecake because the fruitiness of the wines really take the place of it. the like of the what is that compote the toppings whatever whatever it takes it the is. place of it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is nice. Can't say that I'm feeling it though. I was feeling it at the second. I can I can definitely say. I my fork. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I feel my tongue getting heavy. Like I'm like. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, this 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 one did not come to play around. Shout out to you guys only. Because y'all did this. On all me. That's what you're calling. Mm -hmm. All me. I'm sorry. You got it. You got it. The two together. Some good cheesecake. Is it though? She already finished the first piece. It's an amazing combination. Like I'm so here for it. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. Like my taste buds are like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's because they a little drunk too, but. Okay. <laughs> like letting the wine dissolve the cheesecake in my mouth is yes. such a vibe. We got so quiet just because we were really just over here like, damn, this is so good. We got so quiet. Just this is now. delicious. You did it. We did this once again. Okay, so let's talk about it. Let's do it. Which one was your favorite? Mm. Which one was your least favorite? And which one kind of fell somewhere in the middle? Oh, this is a tough question. I like all of them. Right? All three are winners. <sighs> the, mm. the skipjack might be my favorite. Okay. Just of sweetness. Okay. Um, The blueberry is next. That's okay. second favorite because that would have been my first if it had not been the skipjack. And... The uh, cherry, I think, would be my least favorite. Just off the syrupy taste. Without the cheesecake. So if you didn't have the cheesecake, it would I, be a no for me. Okay. But this, I know, like, have this on a night when you don't eat nothing. It's going to be a wrap for you. Like, it's, it's over. It's I, I can't say that I would come visit them again. What, what about you? What's your scale? So my scale is... The blueberry okay. from Horton Vineyards. Okay, that's it's okay. my number one. Um, I'll probably have to move to the skipjack from Linganore as my number two. And my number three, this if I had to do one, two, three, would be the black cherry. Only because of one, the potency of the wine. Of course, he percent is nothing to gawk at. Yeah, we need, probably need to scale down to like a 10, a 12. Lot. a lot. Um, On our scale of 10, it's, it's... Yeah, that 14 is a lot. It's not a joke. Um, and again, the syrupiness. So, the cheesecake pairs amazing. Because it cuts that, that yes. medicine-y. It pairs amazing with the black cherry. However, if I didn't have the cheesecake... I probably would enjoy a glass and that would be it for me. Whereas with the other two, I can stick a straw in the bottle. I picture the blueberry tasting really good with dinner. Like okay. a whole meal. Yeah. I taste it. I, I picture it tasting really good. So yeah, that's how I rank them. We'll link um, a description of the wines and a link for where to find them below. I guess that's it. Ew. Oh, I didn't catch it. You didn't catch it. Oh. See the back. Oh. This is fun. Yeah. Liberty! Yeah, let's play. Let's play the game. Liberty, let's play the game. Liberty, let's play the game. Let's play the game. I'll turn this way so they can see the Motown CEO. Very gritty. Yeah. Um. Okay. He's got three letters for the first part of his name. Will I am? No, I think it's like P 
drawing. All my friends are dead. Push me to the Lil head. Uzi. Oh, that's not him. <laughs> Oops. Little pump? No. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> showing your age, man. She's showing your age. My man, yo. <laughs> um, I know him, but I don't know how to describe him. Skip it. Uh-uh. Who -uh. yeah? Who is who yeah? Oh my life. Now you're showing your age. I pray for someone like you. And I, I don't know who that is. Brad, Casey and JoJo. No, I don't know. If that's his name? No, Casey and JoJo. That they didn't come Casey up. That was the last one. Oh, what I, I was know. saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew that, but I didn't know that. <laughs> like, who knows that? Oh, that's funny. Go back to music. Let's do this again. I'm not good at this one. It's my turn. Oh, um, Moesha, Brandy. Yep. Dude. Yeah. Uh, uh. Two gold chains like a sh shove a race. He's oh. a part of the ASAP mob. Oh yeah, Rocky. No, the other one. ASAP first. Yes. Yeah, I got one. I don't know who that is. What was the movie where he Ray. was touching? Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> DMX. No. no. Where well, you? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know who, who that is. is. I don't know who that is. Oh. Uh, tell me what I want, what I really, really want. Sure. Oh, yes. I know. You did a great job. Thanks. When a man loves a woman. Oh, you would have guessed that one. That was the first one. No. Um, Tommy Davidson. The Saran Wrap. Oh. <sighs> I know, oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. Eddie Murphy. Come to America. Yes. Drum line. Yes. <laughs> you should have let me, you let me drop. <laughs> um, the Wayne's Brothers again, only this time it's the older one and the younger one, and they're scam on. Oh, it was Mo Money. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. Oh. Booty Call. That's the name of it. Should have let me. Oh, the drum line. <laughs> I would have been like, boom. Girl, boom. same. I remember the, I remember the, remember when he made their, their, they had to hold their arms up? <laughs> what were they doing? Oh, I've never figured it out. I have friends who were on the band. I they never really figured out. I know what that is. I'm like, boom. maybe they were practicing the sound their instrument made. Well, they were trying to get all on sync. I don't know. But all I heard was trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that little notification bell so you know the next time that we post or whatever. And follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. All of that. All of that. And yeah, stay tuned. Check you later. Bye. And that concludes another sesh with your girls from Poor Choices. If you've been drinking along with us, go ahead and stop by the comments and tell us what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, share, and share some more. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and yeah, thanks for stopping by.